This used to be a mobile mammogram van. Now it's Swedish's road going coronavirus test site. And here they're set up at Plymouth Housing downtown, testing those transitioning out of homelessness and the staff that work with them. Right now we're focusing on screening people who have symptoms. So residents and staff members who have cough, shortness of breath or fever are being screened and examined. This is especially important because they say this is a population at higher risk for the disease. It can be difficult to go to the doctor and many deal with mental or physical issues. The challenge is that it's very difficult for someone who doesn't have a place to call home to socially distance themselves from other people. And some of the residents here at Plymouth Housing have behavioral health challenges that might make it tough to follow strict precautions about isolation. To be able to bring services on site where people can be assessed and tested, I think is a boost for the entire community. Next, they plan to head to the Downtown Emergency Services Center, meeting the need where it is. It's a big deal both for the folks getting tested and preventing the spread of coronavirus. I'm just super moved by all of the people's ability to come together today, and not only as a community of um, co-workers, but really, truly in terms of the Seattle community and being able to help these people who are in crisis. Michael Crow, King 5 News.